Blah. Hello. So, uh, my name's Sean, and I just wanted to do uh, a life vlog, I guess. So, I used to make vlogs pretty regularly on YouTube, and I want to do it again. So, hi YouTube. Um, it's been a while. Last time I recorded a vlog was... Oh, shit. Um, 23 now, last time I recorded a vlog. So probably I was 18. So, yeah, it's been a while. A lot of stuff has happened in my life since I was making vlogs back then. And uh, a lot of good stuff. Uh, bad stuff too, but mostly good. Mostly good. Um, yeah, so I I don't really know. I just kind of wanted to talk and make a vlog. Um, I live in Asheville, North Carolina. It's pretty awesome here. Um, moved here from Williamsburg, Virginia. Well, Tuano, but no one knows where Tuano is, so I just say Williamsburg. But, um, yeah, I moved here from Williamsburg about two years ago. Um, I'm a drug addict. Um, yeah, I used to do a lot of drugs, and I got addicted to opiates, and so I went to rehab, and I cleaned up, and it took me a while to finally stay clean. Um, it's been almost five months now. Four, yeah, almost five months now uh, since I used drugs and it's going pretty well. I, as long as I've been clean since I was, as long as I've been clean since I was like, I don't know, I started smoking weed when I was 13 and smoked weed every day for a long time until finally moved on to doing opiates when I was around 18, uh, 19 years old. I found I had colon cancer. I had to have six inches of my intestine removed. Of course, lots of painkillers for that. And, um, yeah, shit got bad. I had a lot of anxiety and depression issues which allowed, you know, that made it a lot easier for me to uh, use drugs the way that I did. I used them to numb myself. I used them to try and escape the way that I was feeling uh, with the anxiety and the depression. I, it, was, it was making me suicidal, you know, the, just how anxious I was. It was, it really sucked. I mean, I didn't at one point I didn't have any hope and it was really dark and I made it out which is you know it's really amazing I guess that's kinda why I want to make vlogs is because I was really really in a bad spot with my life like bad I, I tried to kill myself and I almost overdosed you know, I've, I've <laughs> done a lot to get where I'm at now, and I've put a lot of effort into changing myself, and, you know, I have, I have good people in my life that really are there for me, so it's awesome. But yeah, so I just want to make vlogs again to kind of talk about life. I mean, I am a huge, huge, uh, I'm all for peer support, just can't get enough of it. I wouldn't be here right now if it weren't for peer support. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for other people helping me. I could not have done 
And what I've done alone, there's no way. It's impossible, at least for me. Um, so yeah, I'm clean. It's possible to get clean. You know, like, there's no reason to die from drug addiction. There's no reason to die from overdose. There's no reason to kill yourself. There are ways to get over mental issues. I couldn't even, I, I dropped out of high school when I was 16 uh, and got my GED because I had such bad anxiety. All I wanted to do was skateboard and smoke weed. That's all I wanted to do because school, was it was so painful to just sit in class and to have to try and communicate and be uh, social. So I dropped out. I eventually realized that, oh man, I'm kind of fucked, I need to go to school or do something, or else I'm just going to work dead-end jobs the rest of my life, or, you know, I have to work my way up doing something, and I just, I wasn't where I wanted to be at with my life, so I decided to try and go to community college. I was prescribed clonopin, and um, even with the clonopin taking even more than I was prescribed, I still, I couldn't, I couldn't go to class. I went to class one day I was sweating so profusely I was scared as fuck I was paranoid you know the, all the everything that goes along with anxiety it was there and I after class I like went up to my teacher and I was like I can't do this you know I didn't even know the guy's my English teacher I was like, can't do this I'm so fucking anxious I can't even sit in class and I started crying to the guy, and like that was just one uh, one moment in my life where it was just like, wow, this is bad. You know, just I've had a lot of those moments where I I have had something happen, and it's like, wow, this is really out of control, and something needs to happen. So, you know. I guess I just kind of wanted to give a background about myself and, uh, you know, start this off being honest and just kind of letting people know where I'm coming from that I just want to reach out. You know, I'm, I tried to, uh, I've been thinking of ways to reach out. You know, I, I'm a part of an online forum called Addiction Survivors. Um, which is a really cool online forum. It's a good place to go and talk to people that are also dealing with addiction and mental issues and stuff. I've heard of, I don't really have social anxiety anymore, so I don't, I'm not a part of any forums online for that or anything, but, you know, there's support groups and, you know, I, I've always really been a fan of the internet and I think it's, it's a really, really awesome thing. And it's a, a cool way to connect with people. So if even one person watches this and I can talk to one person and make a difference in one person's life, then this will have not been in vain. And that's what I'm hoping for. I just want people to see that it's possible to, to recover, you know, and that it's not that bad. You know, everybody's different in the level of drug abuse, and there's so many factors, but there's a light at the end of the tunnel. There's there's an end to the suffering. I mean, not really, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. I was, I was actually at a, a group the other day. I go to some group therapy stuff, and it said something like, you know, suffering is a part of life. Suffering, suffering is a part of life. And it's true, but when you're in actively addicted to drugs and using every day, and in that cycle, the suffering is much worse. And same thing with depression and anxiety. When you're in that cycle, it's so much more painful, and there is an extreme amount of suffering. And I, you know, there's a lot of stigma, and there's a lot of 
misunderstanding about mental disorders like depression and anxiety still by the public and also addiction you know I I feel I used to feel really ashamed and I wouldn't admit that I'm a drug addict until recently pretty recently this time it took me almost overdosing and dying to to finally see like oh my god I can't actually use drugs <laughs> like I can't actually use and be successful um, which, you know, it sucks because it's all I know, and so, you know, the whole thing for me has just been living, living without drugs and learning how to do that because my life has always, I've always had drugs to, to be there for me and, and be that one thing that I can trust and know that, okay, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna smoke weed, I'm gonna pop a pill, I'm gonna feel a certain way, and I can always trust that to be there, and it's always consistent, well at least it was for a while, until the tolerance came, and um, yeah, I don't know if I'm rambling, or I, I feel like I got my point across, that I just want, I'm here because I want to talk, and I want other people to know that it's possible to get off drugs and it doesn't it doesn't suck and it doesn't make you lame it doesn't mean that you're a pussy you know getting high every day there is a point that it gets to a point where it's not fun anymore for a lot of people and that's when it's it's probably time to try and get some help so if anybody wants to talk um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up, share it with somebody, you know, let's, let's talk. I don't want to be in the shadows anymore as a drug addict. I hate, I hate the fact that, you know, as a drug addict, drug addicts are it's, you know, dirty, it's very grimy, you know, but drug addicts can get clean and that's, I'm living proof. So yeah, I hope uh, somebody watches this and likes it. Thanks, thanks if uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.